Hi, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Wii U home menu wallpaper I made working on your computer. It shouldn't take too long, probably only like 20 minutes or so to get it up and running for you if you know what you're doing, but beyond that it shouldn't, it shouldn't be that bad. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have Wallpaper Engine purchased and installed on your computer. So what you're going to want to do is open up Steam and then open up Wallpaper Engine and just press play. It doesn't show up like how it did for me, it might be down over here, so just double click it and it'll show up like this. So I have three monitors, this is my main one, the one that I'm showing on the recording right here. So just click change wallpaper. You might not have any themes installed, so what you're going to want to do is make sure you go into the link in the description and open up my wallpaper link right here. So make sure you subscribe to it, if you're not just click that button and it should automatically install for you. If it doesn't show up for you automatically, just restart Wallpaper Engine and it should show up for you after that. So what you're going to want to do now is make sure you go into the Wallpaper Engine settings. You can see the button right here. Click that. Go to the General. Scroll down to Developers and you're going to see your log level. It's probably set to None for you, so set it to Verbose right here. And then press OK and then restart Wallpaper Engine and it should be set up properly that way. Next, you're probably going to want to change the icons in the wallpaper for you. So click on the wallpaper, and you're going to see it open up like this. This is just my default icons. You probably don't want the same ones. So just go into Wallpaper Engine again. Scroll down on the right-hand side, and you'll see a bunch of apps right here. So each of these apps has a different icon. Apps 1 through 5 are here. Apps 6 through 9 are here, and apps A, B, C, D, E, and F are right there. So, let's assume you're going to be changing app 1. So click select file, and go into wherever you have your image saved. I would probably save it somewhere you remember. I have this folder just made for these. So, I'm just going to use Spotify. I already have that here, but just an example, I have the icon made already. So I'm going to click that, and it's going to be set up properly like that. And you're going to see it filled out right here too. If you want to get rid of it, you can always click the X. Or if you have it set up already, you can also click this to just open up the folder again to be able to change it. Or this is actually the folder you have the files set up already, so... If you need to figure out where to save them to, you might be able to just copy the drop the uh, copy the link right there, and then just you know uh, save the images that you want to use in there. So after that, just as my example, I still have Fortnite right here, so I'm gonna want to use that. So this is what my script looks like that I have set up already. You're probably not going to want to use this, you're probably going to want to use the one I have linked in the description that's empty like this. Except this actually just has placeholder in it instead of a link. So it's going to look something like this. So what you're going to want to do is find the link that you want to put in here. It could be an exe file, it could be a link, it could be a shortcut, it could be anything like that. But for my instance, I'm going to be using Fortnite. So, Fortnite doesn't really like being opened up from the exe file specifically, at least I think so, so I just have Epic Games Launcher running from there. So something easy that I've found is if the icon is already in your taskbar and you want to use that, uh, find the app that you want to use, right click on it, right click on the name, right click on properties, and you're going to have the exe file right here. So what you can do is just copy this. I'm copying a lot of the quotes, but if you do, just make sure you get rid of these quotes first. And then paste it. If you don't have the quotes, just make sure you have quotes around the link besides these semicolons, and that's it. So you're gonna see the link right here. This is almost fine, except the slashes aren't going to actually let this work properly, so you're gonna have to double them up. But every time you see a slash like this, make sure there's two. So after that, it should work just fine for you. So once you're all done, you should have all the apps like this. You're going to notice some of these are .lnk files. That's what a shortcut is. 
An easy way to find shortcut links, especially ones in your start menu, are to go to your PC folder, go to your C drive, go down to program data, go to Microsoft, go to Windows, go to start menu, programs, and you'll see all of your apps right here. So for my instance, I'm going to be using Epic Games Launcher, so an easy way to get the link for it directly is to just click this up here, add a slash, and you'll see all your shortcuts linked right here. Type the one you want to use, click on it, well, actually don't click on it, and then just copy it, and then paste it right here. The one other thing you might want to do besides having shortcuts or EXEs is maybe having a website linked. So I have that already set up right here. So just to sh show what I, I mean, um, just have like an empty slot right here and then type in start, space, two quotes, space, and then two quotes again. And then inside these last two quotes in here, type in the link you want to use. For example, I'll just put in google.com. So now whenever the social icon gets linked, uh, you're going to open up a browser that has google.com linked in. So now whenever you click on the social icon, uh, it'll open up a browser with Google in it instead. So this is my script. Make sure it's saved somewhere that you know it's going to be. Um, I have it saved in desktop for me, so you might want to do something like that, but it's up to you what you want to do. After that, you're going to be in the folder that you want to use, so I have it in desktop, right here. So what you're going to want to do is click on here so you have nothing highlighted. Right click while holding down shift. If you don't hold down shift, it's just going to have something like this. Uh, you can still do like this, and you just open up in terminal, and that probably worked just fine for you, actually. But what I like to do is hold down shift and open up PowerShell. They're basically the same thing, but I'm just using PowerShell for this example. So what you're going to want to have is Node.js installed. If you don't have it installed, uh, well, if you actually do have it installed already, which you might, just type in Node and it might show up like something like that. That means you already have it installed. That means you don't have to deal with anything like this. Uh, but if you already have it installed, just press Control C and then Control C again and get out of that. If you don't have it installed, you can type in win get install node.js and then press enter. You're gonna see it start installing like this. I already have it installed, so it's not gonna obviously do anything for me. So now, after you're done installing it, you're going to type in node dot slash and then Wii U. And you'll probably find this is the first result. So you press enter and you're going to notice nothing happens. That's actually normal. It means it's working fine. Um, if the link doesn't work in your file, uh, you're not going to be notified if there's something wrong with it. So if nothing opens up from any of these, it's probably an issue with your link not having slashes, maybe it's not uh, gonna open up from the link you provided, or maybe there's something else wrong, I'm not sure. But you can comment down below and I might be able to figure out what's wrong with it. But after it's running, you're gonna notice, if I click on this one, it's going to up, open up the Epic Games Launcher like this. Uh, other examples are this is Dolphin, uh, with a funny error. Um, this is going to have a bunch of different icons right here. This is, for example, the social, friends, stuff like that. These are below. These are these ones right here. So, just to show. This is user icon. This is friends, social, eShop, web, notify, and media. So, all of these correspond to all of these. So you're going to notice the social icon right here opens up Twitter. Uh, it might open up a different window on a different monitor. I have my monitor right here. So what you can just do is click on this. Click on... This is going to be eShop. This is just going to open up another web page. Like that. Stuff like that. 
that should be all the things you need to do to actually get it working. Uh, if you have any more questions, though, feel free to just comment down below in the comments, and I might be able to help you out with it. I might not. I don't know. I'm not very experienced in this sort of stuff. I just made this because I wanted to, um, just for fun. Uh, thank you for being interested in this little project that I made, though. And I definitely didn't steal from that one person that made a Wii version of this. I just think the Wii U menu looks better, so I like the Wii U version more. Uh, you might be able to customize the menu more than I did, I'm not sure. Uh, again, I, I barely know Wallpaper Engine as it is, so I just made this stuff learning along the way. Another thing you might want to do is have the script auto-run whenever you open up Wallpaper Engine or whenever you boot up the computer. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Um, there are ways to do it, I've seen people figure out how to do it. How to do that, though, is completely up to you to help how to figure it out. That's not really my business on figuring that out right now. Um, but if I do, I'll make an update to the guide that I have linked in this description to show how to make it automatic, but no promises that I do that. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope I helped figure it out for you. Uh, again, if you have any more questions, feel free to comment down below, message me on Discord or something like that, and uh, yeah, that's all. See ya.